How do I start this off? Hello? Hi. Well, I guess I'll start this off with saying how are y'all doing? It's been a while since I've been on this channel and I know I'm aware of that. But look, I'm back now and I'm here to explain every well not explain everything, but I'm just talking about everything really that's going on from my comeback. And this is genuine my comeback. This is not just one video and it's gonna be another few weeks until I upload. I'm not. I promise, this is just this is it. I'm back. So first off I want to talk about my mental health. So I have been working on my mental health and that's why I said I'll put work to the side for now. Because obviously it's important to keep your mental health. If you don't take care of your mental health, it's the one thing that you need to keep going in life and to say it. And it's what you need to stay disciplined and stay. But you know, because if you're, even if you had the best body and you're eating healthy but your mental health was low, it's not good because mental health is the one main thing you need. So I said I'm going to improve that before I decide to get back to work. And obviously I'm going to continue to keep improving my mental health along with these videos. And obviously make these videos as well to help you improve your mental health along with my journey too. Along with my journey too. So Now there's also actually one thing that I never told you. And I actually have a girlfriend now and I've been with her for six months. Yeah, I better not get this wrong because she'd probably be watching this one. <laughs> no, I've been with her for six months. I've known her for seven. I met her in January, actually. So I've actually known her for a long time. I just never brought it up to you because I never felt the right, I never felt the right moment to bring it up. You know, I was obviously going to bring it up to you because I didn't want to hide anything from you. I never felt the right moment. But I said, look, I'm explaining stuff now, so I might as well let you know. Yeah, we've been together for six months and we actually met through... I was going downtown with my friend. We were going to a shop and she was actually... So I have these, they're kind of, I wouldn't call them friends anymore really, but people I used to be friends with, like good friends with, I met them actually down there and they were with the girl that I'm with now and um, and then like <laughs> she ended up liking me and shit and then, and then they brought her up to my house, they called up and we just started talking and just went from there but yeah, it was a good night, I enjoyed that night though because like I got to talk to them as well, my friends that I didn't talk to in a while, well yeah. I guess like I talk to them every now and then but it's not like I'm as close as I was with them but that's that's how it all went down but obviously I wasn't gonna hide nothing from you about that I wanted to let you know all about that and shit like that I also wanted to mention why I actually got into a relationship now I wasn't actually looking for a girlfriend I was never looking for a girlfriend I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my videos but I was not looking for a girlfriend but my mindset kind of was I wasn't looking for a girlfriend but if the opportunity came, I was going to take it. So it ended up happening that way and I was happy with her. So I said, why not? Like, you know, I'm still going to focus on myself and focus on my goals. That's not saying that, like, I'm not going to focus on her. But she, that's not either saying either that, like, she's not got to do my goals in my life. She actually helps me and she, like, you know, believes me and all that shit. I wouldn't be with her otherwise. Like, I'm, I'll, I'll make stuff clear like that, you know what I'm saying? And which I think is important. But, yeah, that's why I'm actually in a relationship right now. Now, another thing that I'm actually really excited for is I'll be starting a course in November. Yeah, I'll be starting in November and I'll be doing a business course because I think business will go towards what I want to do with YouTube. I said I'd rather do that than stay in school and my only option really was to do the course. Like, But I am in school right now till November so I'm only in for a few weeks and it's okay like you don't get homework in this year. Like we're in fifth year LCA, this is basically leave and start applied. So you're basically kind of doing a bit of work experience and I'm trying to get someone got to do with like videography and stuff because that's kind of what I want to do there's no point doing something that I don't want to do so I'll only be in for a few weeks until November but it's kind of shit as well because I don't really like not have regular school well I kind of hate it but I guess I have no other option than just to get on with it but see the thing is with the course it'd be good because it'd be a business course but it's not like school yes you get up in the morning to go into a building to learn obviously but it's first of all good benefits about it is you learn actually about what you want and what you like and you you learn the basic like you learn basic English and basic maths, not a lot of this random bullshit that like you actually won't need. Other benefits as well, you get to wear your own clothes, no homework. You do get paid for it, but like I I'd, I'd like obviously that'd be handy. So I have money, do you know, and I can save that for my future self. But like it's like at the same time, I'm mostly happy about the fact that like you know you get to wear your own clothes, whatever. You don't have to wear a uniform. And no homework, obviously. I mean, not saying, like, I, I remember when I went back to school this year, I would never do my homework. Like, I'm just stubborn, you know. And also, during the breaks, you get to go downtown and, you know, buy your lunch there and all that stuff. So it's actually handy. And then, like, you know, it's more like, they treat you more like an adult in there. 
if you if you get what I'm trying to say, like they're not just treating you like a student. It's feel like in school it's kind of like you're a student to them, but in the course you're kind of more of a, like a you're kind of more one of them. If you know what I mean, they're just like helping you. They give you the work to do for like a certain task, and then you do like an exam every month, and then they like grade you on that and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of like school, but it's not at the same time. Like they only give you an exam every month to see how you're doing in your work, and um, yeah. And now a lot of you won't be expecting this one, but I'm actually going to be an uncle soon, which is mad because like, I, I, I would have never thought this year I was going to be an uncle. And the due date for the baby is actually December 25th, but a lot of us expect it's going to come before or after that. I said it's going to come the 23rd. We'll see anyway, but obviously I'll be like, you know, updating you guys with when like, you know, in a in few months when all oh, shit is. When, when shit is settled down afterwards, I'll be updating you everything. The gender of the baby, it's gonna be a boy, which I'm actually excited about because it's gonna be like a little brother for me, you know. And we did have a gender reveal there a while ago. I didn't record anything on that, and I kind of, I kind of regret it. But like at the same time, I just, I enjoyed the moment. So like, am I excited? Yes, I'm actually fucking very excited. I remember they told me, and I was like, it was, I was actually, I didn't expect myself to be that happy. They told me like, I always said like, you know, if if like my brother had a baby, like I'd actually like it. You know what I mean? But I'm looking forward to like, you know, if they're ever going out, just minding the baby with my girlfriend and shit like that, because that's that's most likely what will happen. Like, you know, but obviously for the first few months. They be like, you know, taking care of the baby and getting it used to the home and also we have dogs so we have to get the dogs used to the baby and used to us holding the baby because we don't want the dogs getting jealous as well. And like no longer, how, no matter how long you had a dog, we have to take caution with that shit and we have to make sure we have a new dog now, Sabre. Yeah, we have to make sure we actually got a trainer in yesterday to make sure he's fully properly trained now and he's settled down when the baby comes in but he should be now because he's eight months now i think is he eight months with him i don't even fucking know how old he is but once he gets to about a year maybe or a year and a half he should be like settled down anyway but with the training this is going to help him anyway because he does need this and i actually started up kickboxing there a few weeks ago i don't know how a month ago i think it was a month ago i started up kickboxing or a month or two jesus if that's two months that one very quick like time goes so quick and you don't realize that's why you have to focus on yourself you know as soon as possible but yeah i started out kickboxing i'm not sure how long i've been fully at for sure but i've i haven't went in like four weeks because like this i was very low recently but look i'm getting up now i'm working i'm getting back to everything getting back to my routine so this is what makes me happy so once i keep this up i'll be happy you know but yeah i've been training you go three times a week, I go Monday, Wednesday and Thursday because it's on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday so I just, I'm, I'm getting back to a Monday now and I'm going to go every single day it's on and like, you know, I'm, I'm going to make sure I go because I do enjoy it though, it's not the point that I don't enjoy it, like I do enjoy it, I love it and I think it's very good, like I think mostly a lot of you should start up self-defense, I think everyone should start up a self-defense class because you never know when you're going to need it in your life and even if you try hide from trouble, trouble is always going to find you, so you're always, I can guarantee you one point in your life you're going to find yourself in a situation where you need to throw a punch or just put someone in a headlock or so and what if you have kids or you have a girlfriend like what if anything happens to them and you can't protect you or them like you want to be able to protect yourself and your family and that's what i think a man should do and it's 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 masculine if if you know how to fight and know how to defend your your family and yourself i think that's i think that's masculine like you know there's nothing wrong if you are ever afraid in them situations there's nothing ever wrong with that that doesn't mean you're a pussy any fighter would tell you before they go into a boxing match they have nerves because you never know what could happen but it's just your body in general that's how your body is supposed to react and if your body doesn't react that way that's like your body letting you know okay you're going to need to protect yourself here and you're going to need to defend yourself here now nah, but just know like that's normal it doesn't mean like if you know how to fight then then you won't get them feelings like even hamza he even said like he one time there was a lad coming over to him and he had to defend him and his friend and he got them nerves beforehand and a lot of people just like freeze and don't know what to do in the situation and it just it just happens like you know and that's a regular reaction for some people so don't don't try to let that mess with your mind and don't be like oh I'm a pussy because you know you're not it's regular but yeah to be honest I'm glad to be back and I'm glad I've mentioned everything now I've got this off my chest so I wanted you to hear everything that I mentioned today and I am um, I'm happy I got these off my chest and I am glad to be back and what I'm gonna aim every two, three days, I wanna upload then because I, I'm not gonna be like the same as I am, like, oh, I'm back now and then I'm gonna leave it for like a week or two. No, it's not gonna be like that. I'm not letting this time go to waste. I can't because I have goals that I wanna accomplish and I will accomplish. And I hope you're the same. So, 
but yeah thanks for watching i guess and i'll see you in the next video which won't be in another month i promise <laughs>